talk to you about some safety tips when using pliers and other tools that are similar to it, but mainly pliers like these needle nose pliers that I have right here. The first tip I have for you when working with pliers, or any tool for this matter, is to wear eye protection. Wear a pair of glasses, preferably safety glasses, that are rated to handle different things breaking or if a part pops off or a bulb pops off or a nail breaks or snaps. If it shoots at you, your eyes are very vulnerable, so you're going to want that protection to be wearing. So that's first off. Also, if you're working with rough materials or outside, a pair of gloves is very helpful too but not always needed, but more of a personal preference. Like me, I, don't, I like to hold, wear gloves if I'm working with rough wood. The next tip is knowing if you're working with something electrical. If you're working with electrical, pliers are made out of usually a metal, like a steel or something like this. Higher quality ones are made of different material, but they can be very conductive to electricity. And if you're trying to tighten a live wire, this is, that can be some trouble for you. You don't want that. So, specifically look for electrical pliers or electrical rated tools to have more of a rubber grip. These right here, these I believe these are Stanleys, they have a little bit of rubber protection, so if there's something light duty, a little bit of volts, I'd probably be safe. However, if I was fully working with more electricity, I'd want something that says insulated. So you might want insulated pliers if you're working with electrical, like lights, wires, or whatever it is. So make sure you know you're working with electrical because that is a different problem that you're going to need to face. The next tip is with I have a pair of tongue groove pliers right here. There's a tongue, this part right here, and it has grooves that you can adjust how wide it is, also known as a pipe wrench because it's got a good latching for it. If you're working with some pipes in a finished area or where it's going to be visible, this pipe wrench has these very strong teeth marks and if you're tightening it, that can leave marks on it. And most homeowners, I'm sure do not want visible marks out on their pipes. So instead, grab an old rag or something soft and just put that in there when you're tightening it. So, so you have wrench right here, or pipe, put a, put a wrench over it, and you can still grab, once I adjust these, you can still get quite a good grip on that without damaging and really ripping that surface. So I recommend keeping like a rag handy, not just for this, I mean a rag's handy for all sorts of tools, cleaning, oil, grease, everything like that. But if you're working with a finished surface, understand how rough and how dirty and difficult that this is going to leave a rough mark on it and understand the homeowner's wants that you might want to consider a rag or something to be a little more gentle with those exposed pipes. Now pliers, like I said before, are usually made out of some sort of steel or metal and they're extremely durable. They very rarely break, maybe they get some rust on them, yeah, but over time they're going to be quite, they're usually going to be pretty strong and the good thing is they're not too expensive, 5 to $30 for a good pair of pliers and that'll last you a long time. However, the number one thing that I have broken, I think about two pairs of pliers, some, a little smaller pliers, is with sheer force. So a plier like this one opens like this and it has a lot of force if you're going like this, rotating. That's very strong, that's what pliers are meant for. However, pliers are not meant to twist like this, the handle. It's a little hard for me to demonstrate, but I will get a screw in here and I'm gonna show you what I mean. All right, I've got a little screw right here, just something small, got my drill, opening the chuck up, got a little drill bit, putting that in. And Tightening it in nicely. I'll take it. Screw that bad boy right in there. Just a little bit, it's pretty firm. So one of the things like I was saying that drip pliers are not meant to do is that shear force. So how I've broken pliers, or at least not broken, just damaged them where they're really misaligned, is if I've taken it like this and I've tried to twist it over like this. So if you can see, I'm trying to take this edge and rotate it like this. Pliers are not designed for this type of force and it can really mess with the heads if you're trying to twist that over. So I do not recommend doing pliers like that because again, their force, if you wanted to use a needle nose pliers, would be to go like this. So instead, if you wanted to rip it out, maybe grab a pair of uh, like cat's paw or something else, of course, but if you needed like a tongue groove, I mean, you'd never, this isn't, a situation you'd want, and this is just for demonstration purposes, get a tool where you can get it and rip it out more using that head right there. And because these, again, their force is sideways, not twisting. So understand that these pliers, that is that one way that they might damage themselves. 
if you do try and twist them to the side. So just be really cognizant of that when working. My last safety tip, kind of like what I was saying before with the gloves, is that you want to understand how rough the inside of a plier is and know that it can get a little bit sharp if you're working with metal. Metal on metal can kind of grind up and over time the inside of these can start to have some little metal shards that they, they might be too, not be too big, but they can definitely be sharp and a little scratchy. Kind of like when you pee, when you cut open a can of like a jar of um, the cap of a jar or some beans or something like that. It can be very sharp. So over time, just be really careful of the inside here. Don't go grabbing it too much. I mean, take a look at it, but you're really going to want to be working with the handle for most of it. So. That's all the tips I have for you today about working with pliers. And if you found it helpful, please let us know, giving us a like or a comment. And if you want to know more about us, me, visit our website at rdog.com. That's R-D-A-W-G.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.